Feral Trade Gaming here. I said PTG is here for this championship matchup against Seattle Bruins. You know we're going to knock all blacks. You know we about to smack these bears in their face because they teddy bears. Huh? 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 James and Joe really don't know, but we about to get to the show, baby. Let's get it. This is football league. My name is Dave Stevens, and I'm joined, as usual, by Mike Steele. Teams can limp in, teams can dominate in, but the goal is to simply get in and have a chance. Today, we'll see what each team does with that chance. Yeah, Mike, that's a good point. Let's find out who's going to advance to the next round of the playoffs and who's packing it up for the year. Setting up shop from the 23-yard line. Tonight. He can't bring it in. The Bruins with two backs in the backfield. Tonight. He throws one down the middle of the field. He's stopped. That will bring up first down. Nice route and pass to pick up the first down there. Hike. Delgado makes the pitch. carry that brings up third down lining up with five DBs he tucks it and runs that'll bring up fourth down the offense was expecting heavy pass coverage over the top and wisely ran the ball to pick up a few yards the punts away. Check. Calling West. out some signals West. on the field. Put. William dropping back. He throws one along the sideline. Two tight ends for the home team. William gives it away. Go! That will bring up first down. When you can pick up the first by running, it really opens up your playbook for the next set of downs. He drops back. He tosses one. He scores! That's a play I expect to see on Sports Center's The Top Ten tonight. Great long pass for the score. It's up. And it's good. The home team goes out in front today. Seven, nothing. Any touchdown deflates the team, Dave. But giving up on the first score of the game just takes it to another level. Hine catches the kickoff. Tackled after a return of 19. The away team has to feel good about where they are. They're down by a single score and are in control of what happens next. The pitch is taken by number 32. And he steps out up at the 45-yard line. Good enough for a first down. Back-to-back -back first downs really has an impact on the crowd, too. Delgado makes the pitch. Second down. Lining up on second down. 
Delgado gives it away. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Fourth play of the drive. The quarterback decides to run. The tight end lines up on the right side. The handoff is taken by number 32. Delgado handing it off. The offense was expecting heavy pass coverage over the top and wisely ran the ball to pick up a few yards. Here's the kick. And it will fall short of the uprights. Oh, and he's, he's not going to have enough leg. It's a close one so far today. Let's see if the offense can extend their lead on this drive. Go! The running back on the carry. Second down. Tonight. William hands it off. Third and short. That signals the end of the first quarter. The home team with the lead so far. Seven, nothing. Tonight. Clark on the run. And he's tackled up near the line by Cole. William pitching it out. And he won't make it very far before being dragged down by Cole. That will bring up second down. William dropping back. Play action fake. Grabbed out of the air by number 21. First down. Sit William steps back into the pocket. And they can't connect incomplete. Go. A flag on the play. Let's see what the call on the field is. The home team takes the penalty. His timing was just off there and jumped off sides. Clark on the run. That brings up third down. The offense with two tight ends. Hike. Hitching it off to number 21. That will move the chains. William, back to pass. He makes the throw. Deep. Touchdown! Number 11 had the Jets on from the moment the ball was snapped. He wasn't going to stop until he had that ball in the end zone. And it's good. The home team widens their lead. 14 nothing. For a defense, this becomes personal now. They're starting to put points up at will. takes the kickoff tackled after a return of 28 the away team needs to get something going on this drive we've got an injured player down on the field Go! Delgado handing it off lining up with two backs He pitches the ball to the runner. And he won't make it very far before being dragged down. Back near the 30. That brings up third down. Tonight. He steps back to pass. Grabbed out of the air by number 89. 
Coming out in the gun. He hands it to number 32. That brings up second down. Second and short. He drops back. Number nine. Cutting through blockers. The sack. That will be a loss of seven. That gets us to third down. He flings a pass. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. When it's third and long, sometimes you've got to throw it downfield, even when you know that's exactly what the defense is expecting. It just didn't work out for them at that time. Oh, and he's, he's not going to have enough leg. The away team could really use a big play here on defense, something to spark a comeback. He hands it off. That gets us to second down. <laughs> Tackled quickly. Seattle will use their first time out here. He's brought down. Seattle takes a timeout here. That brings up fourth down. Go! The punter on the punt. Meyer takes the punt. Makes the return up to the 33-yard line. The away team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. Delgado looking to pass. And he's off. Tackled up at the 46. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. This defense is going to have to get its assignments in order. If not, they can expect to give up yardage all day. Delgado back to pass. He tosses one. He steps out of bounds. First down. Giving up those yards so quickly. Even the mascot looks frustrated with the defensive. Uh -huh. Delgado, back to pass. Grabbed out of the air. Second down. Second down for the Bruins. He steps back to pass. Sacked. Loss of 11. Seattle uses their last time out. He drops back to pass. Complete touchdown. When I played, I used to love chucking it down the field like that. Great throw and catch for the touchdown. Hike. Here's the kick. It's good. Seattle bridges the gap a bit. 14-7. These guys play with a chip on their shoulder, and they also keep chipping away at this lead. Mitchell kicks it. Fielded at the 6. And he's brought down after a return of 11. The offense has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. William looking to pass. Pass complete to number 11. And he steps in. Lining up for the extra point. The kicker on the kick. It's good. The home team widens the gap a bit with that score. 21-7. The home team is really moving out in front of this matchup. The kick is off. Hein takes the kickoff. 
Makes the return up to the 22-yard line. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. The D lineman cutting through blockers. The sack. That will be a loss of 11. That gets us to second down. There's a penalty marker on the field. The home team accepts the penalty. There really is no excuse for false starts because you know the snap count. <laughs> Delgado drops back. And it's picked off by the defense. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback bounces back after that pick. The defense has a chance to come up big. If they can force a punt after that turnover, it'll give the entire team a boost of confidence. Second down. That signals the end of the second quarter. The home team out in front for now. 21-7. Mitchell boots it. Taken at the two-yard line. Tackled after a return of 21. Well, we've got a report from Emma Adams down on the field. Emma, what do you have for us? Thanks, Dave. I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. His team is no stranger to a game plan gone bad. So it might be premature to call this run defense a lost cause. However, it was also pretty brutal first half for them. Sometimes opponents don't always do what you expect them to, and he said it'll be an uphill battle getting these guys to go out there and defend the run better. Back to you guys. Thanks for that, Emma. Lining up with two backs. The QB makes the toss. A good first down for the defense is an incomplete pass or a short run, not another first down. I guess they didn't get the memo. And he won't make it very far before being dragged down by Burke. Fifth play of the drive for the home team. He sets up and it's picked off by number 57. Sometimes you just have to know when a pass isn't there and throw it away. Defenses are not forgiving. The offense will be looking to turn that turnover into points on this drive. Delgado steps back into the pocket. He tosses one. Picked off. Stop by Watson. Watson was in the right place at the right time for that interception. The offense will be looking to turn that turnover into points on this drive. William gives it away. Second down. A two tight end set for the home team. William pitching it out. That will bring up first down. After a run like that, it's so tempting to just keep feeding him the ball until the defense finds a way to stop it. Fourth play of the drive for the home team. Makes the handoff to number 25. That gets us to third down. He steps back to pass. That'll be enough for the first down. When you can complete those types of throws for first downs, it forces the defense to move men out of the box, which opens up the run game. That will bring up second down. Two backs in the backfield for the home team. Handing it off to number 21. The home team with a single back in the backfield. Dropping back. And 
It's caught for a touchdown. Deep strikes for scores is so disheartening to a defense. The kick is up. And it's good. The home team adds to their score. 28-7. And now, Dave, the backups are kind of begging for some game time. The kick's away. High takes the kick. Makes the return up to the 25-yard line. The away team needs to get something going on this drive. Seattle will begin the drive from the 27-yard line. Eventually dragged down. That will bring up first down. Those quick first downs like that really help the offense get into a rhythm. He takes the ball. Second down. A five defensive back for the defense. Hi takes the carry. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Blocking can be one of the more overlooked aspects of running, but their impact on that first down run was pretty evident. Broken tackle. And he's tackled up near the line. By number 55, that gets us to second down. Second down. That will do it for the third quarter. Out in front from under center. Delgado hands it off. That'll bring up fourth down. The offense lines up to punt this one away. Haynes on the punt. The offense needs to just play it safe here and focus on keeping the ball in their possession as long as possible. That gets us to second down. Pitching it off to number 21. And that's enough for a first down. He tosses it to the runner. The runner shakes off the tackle. Second down. The home team with two backs in the backfield. William gives it away. Third down. Clark on the run. That'll be enough for the first down. That was a great run there to pick up the first down. And he's taken down back near the 49-yard line. Let's see what the call is on third down. William with the handoff. That'll bring up fourth down. The home team is going to try for three here. It's up. And the kick will fall short. No good. So much of football is mental. The offense needs to get a score in this drive to build some confidence if they want any shot of coming back in this game. He throws one off to the sideline. That brings up second down. Second down. Go. Quarterback to pass. And he's tackled by Fisher. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs.
Okay. Delgado dropping back. Makes the throw deep right. Stop up near the 10 yard line. First down. When you can keep the sticks moving quickly like that, it's a good way to build momentum on a drive. Go. Dropping back. Tosses a pass. Incomplete pass. Steps into the pocket, throws to the sideline. That brings up third down. Third and goal for Seattle. Quarterback back to pass. Incomplete. Fourth and goal. Go. Delgado steps back into the pocket. The receiver can't bring it in. Fourth down stops like that can really change the momentum in a game. It's basically like forcing a turnover. Uh. William dropping back. Tosses a pass way down the left side. The tackle is made. Seattle takes a timeout here. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Clark on the run. That will bring up second down. Seattle uses their second timeout. Third down. <laughs> Number 21 takes the ball. And he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. That's a play they won't mind seeing over and over in film this week. <laughs> Number one makes the kick. And it's good. The home team extends their lead. 35-7. This is when it's fun for an offense. You extend this lead and the game just starts to flow. Taken at the one yard line. And he's brought down after a return of 22. The away team needs to get something going on this drive. Delgado drops back. Throws the ball. The pass is intercepted. Stop. The coach already has the clipboard out. You can bet he's going to go over this mistake right away. The offense needs to just play it safe here and focus on keeping the ball in their possession as long as possible. The pitch is taken by number 21. Seattle calls their last time up. Second down. Hike. 20 takes the carry. That gets us to third down. And that's enough for a first down. He continues to move the chains and keep this drive alive. Lining up on second down. It's that time again to select the Mike Steele stud of the game. Mike. Who do you have for us today? Today's stud is Williams for the home team. 
A well-executed day for him.